Good morning, everyone. A few months ago, I asked the question on LinkedIn, are Tesla about to disrupt the UK motor insurance market? Now, at the time, this was triggered by a job listing on the UK careers website with the company looking for an underwriter to develop motor insurance products for their customers in the UK. The right candidate should, and I'm going to quote directly from their job listing here, forget the standard insurance products the markets have offered for centuries and help to develop motor insurance for the 21st century. Now, the reason I've recorded this follow-up video is that on a recent Tesla uh, investor call at the end of July, Elon Musk spoke openly about how they were going to very shortly launch a great major insurance company. With details shared about upcoming plans to launch a new data-driven motor insurance policy in a number of states later this year. There have been predictions of disruption in the motor industry for a good few years now, with talk of connected cars driving hyper-personalised premiums based on your actual driving style, and also only charging customers for miles actually driven. However, in reality, outside of some increased use of telematic devices for young drivers and, and some commercial use cases, there hasn't really been that much change for most policyholders. And I think one of the reasons for this is that, you know, for most policyholders, plugging in a telematics device into your car or having to use an app to monitor your driving just isn't worth the hassle, especially given the limited difference in premiums to date uh, uh, for those that do. For this to really take off as a concept, it needs to work out of the box with automatic and seamless passing of data between the car and insurer for those that give permission to do so. And while I'm sure most insurers would love real-time, rich data about their policyholders' driving behaviour, in the absence of a standardised way of cars sharing data with insurers, that's just not achievable without using telematics devices. So Tesla has a number of advantages here. Firstly, from a technology perspective, their cars are just gathering a lot more data than many of their competitors, with the vast majority of their fleet already having the sensors necessary for self-driving capabilities, and these have been collecting data for years. In addition to sensors, their latest cars have 360 degree cameras which can record video of any incidents that lead to a claim, a potential big advantage in recovering non-fault claims. Secondly, they also know how to use this data. They have deep experience utilising these big data sets to optimise their autopilot self-driving functionality. So they have a great foundation to be able to accurately assess risk at an individual driver level and price accordingly. And finally, from a cultural or ethos point of view, much like Apple, Tesla's not afraid to offer a completely integrated end-to-end -end customer experience. And if you think about how they approached offering charging for their cars compared to their competitors, they were able to deliver a much better experience at a better cost for end users by owning that whole end-to-end -end journey. So what threat does this pose to incumbent motor insurers? Well, if Tesla are able to leverage their advantages to deliver truly seamless, highly personalised and automated insurance experience that also crucially reduces costs for customers, I can see them quickly building up you know, reasonable market share. Obviously, their products would only be available for Tesla owners, which despite the company now regularly appearing in the top 10 best-selling new cars in the UK, is still a tiny fraction of the market. But as an example to others, if Tesla makes a success of this, are other car manufacturers following suit perhaps the real danger for incumbent insurers here? Certainly interesting times ahead and something we'll be watching very closely. So I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts below in the comments, uh, including whether you'd be happy to have your car share this much data with your insurer if it drove down your premiums.